Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Committee on Transportation and Public Utilities. It's Thursday, February 16th of 2023. I understand that the state law currently requires that the following announcement be made at the beginning of every remote public hearing as follows. Due to the current public health emergency, city council committees are currently meeting remotely. We are using Microsoft Teams to make these remote hearings possible. Instructions for how the public may view and offer public testimony at public hearings of council committees are included in the public hearing notices that are published in the Daily News, Enquirer, and Legal Intelligencer prior to the hearings and can also be found on phlcouncil.com. Will the clerk please call the roll to take attendance? Members that are in attendance will please indicate they are present when their names are called. Also, please say a few brief words when responding so that your image will be displayed on screen when you speak. Would a clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Phillips. Councilmember Vaughn. Present. Vice Chair Squilla. He could be listed as president. Mark, you're on mute. Sorry about that. Yeah. Good afternoon, Council. Uh, Mr. Chairman Good and afternoon. colleagues, I'm present. Um, <clears throat> uh, Chair Johnson? Present. And then Councilmember Phillips was present. We do need him for the quorum. Okay. Give him a text real quick. Not sure, maybe he lost connection. Okay, just send him a text. <clears throat> Now he says, he says that yeah, he said he's logged in. He said he's in the waiting room. Let me see. The link should be on his calendar. He had been in the meeting. I just told him to check the link that's on his calendar. Mr. Chair, we're working with him um, via phone to get him connected to the uh, to the hearing. Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening. All right, I'm in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Eliza, can you just acknowledge Anthony Phillips for the record? Yes, Councilmember Phillips. Thank you very much. A quorum of the committee is present, and this hearing is now called to order. This is the public hearing of the Committee on Transportation and Public Utilities. Regarding bills number 2208810, will the clerk please read the title of the bill? Author, bill 220810, authorizing the procurement commissioner to enter into agreements to purchase electricity, natural gas, and motor fuel for use by the city and city facilities and vehicles, including agreements that obligate payment for delivery 
of such energy supplies in future fiscal years, all under certain terms and conditions. Before we begin to hear testimony from the witnesses we have for today, everyone who has been invited to the meeting to testify should be aware that this public hearing is being recorded. Because the hearing is public, participants and viewers have no reasonable expectation of privacy. By continuing to be in the meeting, you are considering to being recorded. Additionally, prior to recognizing members for the questions or comments they have for witnesses, I will note for the record at this time that we will use the chat feature available and Microsoft Teams to allow members to signify that they will wish that they wish to be recognized. In order to comply with the Sunshine Act, the chat feature must only be used for this purpose. Would a clerk please call the panel for bill number 220810? Mr. McGraw. Mr. McGraw, just state your name for the record, your title, and please begin. Good afternoon, Chair Johnson and members of the committee. My name is Dominic McGraw. I serve as City Energy Manager for the City of Philadelphia in the Office of Sustainability's Energy Office. Uh, I'm here in support of Bill Number 220810, sponsored by Council Member Gilmore Richardson, which, which authorizes the purchase of electricity, natural gas, and vehicle fuel for city for the for its facilities to be delivered through fiscal year 2026. In 2010, Council authorized the City to make electricity purchases for fiscal year 2011 through fiscal year, uh, through fiscal year 2014. In 2012, uh, Council extended that authorization to fiscal year 2015 and has continued granting additional authorization in subsequent years. Mayor Nutter issued executive order number 610, creating an electricity supply advisory committee. The city council committee chairs for transportation and utilities, public works, and the environment, or their representatives serve on the committee. The electricity supply advisory committee reviewed the electricity purchasing strategy and has been kept abreast of the purchases. The city's energy office oversees as the primary or serves as the primary manager for the procurement of electricity, natural gas, and vehicle fuel for the general aviation and water funds. The office's energy procurement work is guided by the city's municipal energy master plan and through conversations with the city's finance department, water department, and the Philadelphia International Airport. The energy office strives for the city's energy procurement to be low cost, provide, provide budget certainty, and to have transparent pricing, and to do so by increasingly using clean and renewable energy. City government's electricity costs are significant, and costs for all city funds, general fund, aviation fund, and water fund, average to about 50 million over the uh, previous three fiscal years. The cost to the general fund, including street lighting and signals uh, for fiscal year 2022 was approximately 27.2 million. The electricity supply portion of the total bill is about two thirds of the total electricity cost. The city has successfully managed uh, supply cost by purchasing in the wholesale electricity market and staggering, and staggering purchases to limit the risk of paying a premium for electricity. Yes. You hold on one second. Can everyone sure. who's, if you're not speaking, can everyone else put their their phone on mute, please? Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Uh, you have, a, you have a humming noise in the background, static. But uh, go ahead. Sorry about that. Um, go ahead. The, uh, this bill would authorize the city to make agreements for delivery of electricity in fiscal year 2026 uh, through a state reg regulated licensed service provider. The city's licensed service provider was selected through a competitive process and acts as the city's agent in making purchases in the regional, uh, in the regional electricity marketplace. In addition to electricity purchases, the city purchases natural gas and vehicle fuel from the competitive market for its largest buildings and accounts. 
the city's interruptible natural gas accounts are those that can switch from natural gas to alternative fuel whenever uh, Philadelphia Glassworks PGW announces a temporary curtailment of gas service. The largest city buildings have accounts that qualify for uh, access to the competitive market for natural gas supply. PGW is impartial to this uh, city's approach to procurement as it is primarily compensated for delivery and distribution services of natural gas, not for its supply. The city government's competitively purchased natural gas supply costs are significant and the costs for all city funds, general fund, aviation fund, and water fund were approximately 4.2 million in fiscal year 2022. The cost to the general fund for fiscal year 2022 was approximately $1,085,000. The city government's vehicle fuel costs are significant and the cost for all city funds, general fund, aviation fund, and water fund were approximately $17.6 million in fiscal year 2022. The cost of the general fund for fiscal year 2022 was $14.5 million. For motor, for motor fuel, the city makes staggered purchases in the wholesale motor fuel market, providing the city with budget stability. This bill would authorize the city to make agreements for to, uh, delivery of natural gas and vehicle fuel through fiscal year 2026 with state and federally licensed providers. The current providers were selected through competitive bid processes and act as the city's agents in making purchases in electricity market uh, or in the energy market. Building on a strong relationship with the Philadelphia Energy Authority or PEA, the ordinance includes uh, a provision that requires the administration to inform a designated representative of the PEA of the city's intent to make purchases and consider the timely advice provided by the PEA on purchases. In closing, I anticipate that this procurement approach will continue to lower the city's electricity, natural gas, and motor fuel bills while protecting the city from potential escalation in energy prices over the next several years. This bill will help to contribute to competitive prices and budget certainty for the city's utilities. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions or comments from members of the committee, including the sponsor? Hearing none, we will now conclude this hearing and go into a public meeting. I want to thank all the panelists and witnesses for their participation today. We value your input. I now invite the witnesses and the panelists to disconnect from the meeting before we go into our disconnect from the hearing before we go into our public meeting. This now concludes the hearing of the committee. We will now go into a public meeting to consider action to be taken on the bill before this committee today. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Tech team, do you need any, any additional time or we can go straight into our meeting? Mr. Chair, we can go straight to the meeting. Um, as of now, we don't have any participants for public comment. Okay, that's cool. Just wanted to double check. Will the clerk please call the roll to take attendance? Members that are in attendance will please indicate they are present when their names are called. Also, please say a few brief words when responding so that your image will be displayed on screen when you speak. Member Phillips. Thank you. Councilman Anthony Phillips, President. Council Member Vaughn. Council Member Vaughn. Here. Here. Vice Chair Squilla. Good. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and colleagues. Present. And Chair Johnson. Present. Thank you. We will now go on to our public hearing. The chair recognizes the Councilman Mark Squiller from South Philadelphia for a motion on Bill Number Two Two Zero Eight One Zero. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move the Bill Number Two Two Zero Eight One Zero be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation, and further move that the rules of council be suspended as to permit the first reading of this bill at the next session of council. Is there a second? Is there a second? 
Is that second. second? Second. I didn't hear who that was. I'm sorry. That Sharon Vaughn. The chair notes for the record that Councilwoman Sharon Vaughn seconds the motion. It has been moved in property seconded that Bill number 220810 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the rules of council be suspended to permit first reading of this bill to the next test from council. All those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye, 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 aye. Opposed, the ayes have it, and the motion carries. Is there any additional remarks or comments from members of the committee? Hearing none, this concludes the business before the committee on transportation and public utilities. Thank you, everybody, for your attendance and being on time, and you have a great day and an awesome weekend. Thank you very much, and take care. Thank, Thank you, care. Mr. Chair. Thank Bye. you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chair.